A very good entrepreneurship Tuesday morning to you. You are watching Why in the Morning only on Y254 channel. My name is Hilda Wadidi and I hope you did catch that interview with Juan Barimo and Dream Adventures. So if you do have plans this Valentine's Day and you'd like to go somewhere special, I hope you are listening in. And all right, it's about time we delve into the entrepreneur's life. If you do want to participate in the conversation at Y254 channel, the hashtag is Why in the Morning. Hashtag Entrepreneurship Tuesday Palette twitter and on instagram you can find us at y254 underscore channel on facebook at y254 and on youtube in case you miss any of the valuable insight here at y254 channel now with me in studio i have a very interesting group under my tribe is art however light and shades modeling agency is also featured here and we will tell you why shortly but it's about time i allow my guests to introduce themselves um my name is selfa Sema, good morning. Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> pole, pole, pole. Good morning, Kenya. Good morning, Y254. Mm -hmm. um, my name is Selfa Kari, and um, yeah, I'm part of the team. My tribe is art. I am an artist, mm -hmm. and I'm the campaign manager. Oh, great. Yes. Good morning. Mm -hmm. My name is Njeri Kinuthia. I'm a visual artist. I'm taking fashion design, and I'm part of my tribe is art. Great. Good morning. My name is Edwin Alianda. Mm -hmm. I'm, an, I'm the CEO of uh, Lights and Shades Models mm -hmm. Academy and, and Agency. Mm -hmm. And I'm also part of the crew mm -hmm. and uh, the coordinator of uh, my tribe is at mm -hmm. events planning. So I can understand, I can, from what I'm seeing here, Art brought you guys together. So can I, uh, can I understand, where did you guys meet and why did you decide Art is what you wanted to do as a group? Edwin? Well, uh, I'm a fan of art. Mm -hmm. I'm a, an enthusiast of, of art. Mm -hmm. My tribe is art uh, began in 2017. Mm -hmm. It started back in Coast, mm -hmm. Voy, mm -hmm. where we organized our first, our first uh, uh, art exhibition. Mm -hmm. And uh, it brought uh, together artists from uh, different parts of the country. Mm -hmm. It was surprising because uh, majorly it featured artists from uh, Nairobi. Mm -hmm. That's where we first met uh, Njere uh, Kinuthia, mm -hmm. among other artists. Mm -hmm. But uh, fast forward to 2018, mm -hmm. we did uh, different segments, mm -hmm. uh, including uh, Dancing Savannah. It's mm -hmm. a, a, a cultural uh, festival that's uh, done at uh, Voi. Mm -hmm. Then uh, we're coming to 2019, mm -hmm. whereby we are organizing another f uh, art exhibition mm -hmm. that will be in, in Mombasa mm -hmm. at uh, Alliance Fonse. Mm -hmm. And it's dubbed uh, Safari Asana. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Safari Asana. Yes. Njeri Kinodia, I'd like to understand from you. This is actually your artwork that uh, we are displaying over here. And I can see you have a special interest with ladies and, animal, and, uh, and animals. Sorry. I'd like to understand where this uh, intriguing interest came from. Okay, I started drawing back in 2017 mm -hmm. after I was inspired by a friend mm -hmm. and I started with portraits and mm -hmm. I really love drawing women. I love mm -hmm. the beauty in mm -hmm. them mm -hmm. and especially with an African touch or a print or the afros. Mm -hmm. And uh, here are some of my pieces, but mm -hmm. I've done so many commission works, mm -hmm. including Michelle Talami mm -hmm. for Marini Naturals relaunching. Mm -hmm. And since then, this has been my style, mm -hmm. and um, I'm doing a series of paintings mm -hmm. inspired by Keseri head wraps, mm -hmm. which are going to be exhibited in Mombasa. Head wraps? Is that yes. why you're wearing one today? Oh, oh yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh, uh -huh. Yes, so that's going to be part of my um, series mm -hmm. in Mombasa. And then I'm now... I love jewelry, so mm -hmm. I'm coming up doing jewelry art too, like what we have here. Mm -hmm. These brass coils on canvas, so mm -hmm. it's one of my styles that I'm doing soon. Mm -hmm. Yes. I would like to understand, um, uh, this is actually a question I'm going to direct to all of you. Um, what message is it that you'd like to give with your work? What is the aim? What is the message you like to give out when it comes to doing your art pieces? Because we are going to be seeing a sample of the art pieces that you've done. What is the message? Every time you sit down and you dedicate your time to draw, paint, or do something, what are you imagining you'd like to send out there? 
Uh, well, um, I am an acrylic painter, mm -hmm. and my artworks revolve four themes in, spe in particular. Mm -hmm. I have um, Tell Her Dark Skin is Pretty, mm -hmm. and that comes from being inspired that... Um, love uh, your melanin. Yes, uh -huh. just love how you are. Mm -hmm. And then there's a cultural heritage, whereby mm -hmm. I look at different countries, Ugandan culture, Kenyan culture, Senegalese, mm -hmm. all those people, and I see what, what makes them stand out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What are their cultures? And I draw maybe um, them doing a peace, a peace negotiation, mm -hmm. something that is very them in particular, uniquely about them. Mm -hmm. Then there's one I call Animal Paradise, oh. whereby mm -hmm. I also paint animals, but in their in their paradise, if it's the jungle, mm -hmm. if the lion is seen in a cave, mm -hmm. and um, I, I do it with a lot of texture mm -hmm. in my paint, mm -hmm. in my paintworks. And the last one, which I came to learn I can do, mm -hmm. uh, was in 2017, mm -hmm. um, whereby I am given a poem. Mm -hmm. It started out when a, when a friend gave me a poem and told me, interpret the poem into paint. Mm -hmm. So yeah, oh. that's what I do. I change poetry into paintings. Uh -huh. Yes. Interesting. Yes. So you change the word the wording into an image yes, oh yes, i've never seen uh image poetry i yeah. think that's what <laughs> i think that's what we would call it if yeah. it had a name so you're passionate about culture yes, spreading the lot. message of culture yeah. and being natural mm. and abcd so for you the aim of your work is to send that message yes interesting self anyambura okay edwin I'd like to hear from you. Your your art is very different because you now you focus on actual individuals. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, actually, uh, times have changed, uh -huh. and uh, most recently, uh, art was incorporated in, into the curriculum. Mm -hmm. Like uh, unlike in the past, it was in the curriculum and it was scrapped off from a uh, eight four four system. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But we are glad it's back. Mm -hmm. uh, we are just trying to show the world, or rather, the the future that. Uh, mm -hmm. Art also has space, mm -hmm. fashion has space, mm -hmm. talent has space, mm -hmm. and people can make a living out of their talents. Mm -hmm. They don't have to be smart in class and uh, to be able to make uh, a living. Yes. They don't have to be doctors, engineers, mm -hmm. or rather scientists to mm -hmm. make a living. Mm -hmm. Also, art can pay. Mm -hmm. That's why that's the major initiative uh, of uh, my tribe is art. Mm -hmm. And uh, we are pushing mm -hmm. so that uh, at least artists can be able to sell their art. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, okay. But you haven't exactly told us about your individuals. You know you have an agency where you manage people, uh, sorry, even an academy for that matter. Yeah. So I'd like to understand even why the name Light and Shades. Like what was the message behind this? Okay. Uh, the name uh, Lights and Shades, mm -hmm. it's, uh, it was inspired by the highs and lows of life. Oh. We go through a lot of uh, darkness. We mm -hmm. go a lot through a lot of lights. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that is the origin of the name mm -hmm. lights and shades mm -hmm. yeah how many models do you manage because i hear jerry actually uses them as her muse <laughs> in some of her art pieces uh we started way back when i was in school uh -huh. we started with uh, 20 models mm -hmm. by then we 20 models yes. those are a lot wow ambitious yes. uh -huh. and we just handpicked them uh-huh we see a lady walking we see a gentleman walking Mm -hmm. while you are in school we tell would you them. have picked me just ask you <laughs> 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 anyway, anyway carry on uh well we, we identify talent mm -hmm. and we tell them yes you can do it mm -hmm. can you join us mm -hmm. we started that way mm -hmm. then uh we trained them mm -hmm. we at least uh, uh organized shows for them mm -hmm. and uh lately we've done uh different shows mm -hmm. and we are growing with the marketing mm -hmm. with the digital um, uh, appearance mm -hmm. we are still growing mm -hmm. we, are we have come from uh, mombasa mm -hmm. now we are moving to nakuru and now nairobi mm -hmm. yes okay i like that bit, bit. all right jerry yeah. What is your message? What do you think about what what saturates your mind when you're doing your art pieces? What do you want people to know? Okay, mostly I do women. I've mm -hmm. done a lot of women, mm -hmm. and I'd like to pass a message that we're beautiful in all shades mm -hmm. and all all the appearances, mm -hmm. whether it's Afro hair, mm -hmm. whatever you look like, you're mm -hmm. beautiful, and that can be seen in my paintings. Mm -hmm. um, I used to have this bias mm -hmm. uh, towards Africans loving mm -hmm. the dark skin too much mm -hmm. and having kind of a racist attitude towards yes. the white. Yeah. But it came, 
I thought of changing that mm-hmm. and I thought I could actually do a series where I can incorporate everyone. So, oh, so I you did not declare war on light skin. <laughs> okay. Uh-huh. No, I didn't. I didn't. Actually, you can see from that and another yes. painting here. Yes. Mm-hmm. I got a collection of models mm-hmm. and I from the internet mm-hmm. including some of them are not here, mm-hmm. but I got Chinese, mm-hmm. I got a white, oh. I got really really dark skin mm-hmm. and some are still works in progress but mm-hmm. um that's what i want to pass a message that would be mm-hmm. my message that all shades are beautiful mm-hmm. and you should appreciate women even mm-hmm. in their natural hair like this lady here she this girl here don who was declared the most beautiful yes. apparently yeah mm-hmm. so she inspired my painting mm-hmm. i love her afro mm-hmm. and Yeah so instead of being biased mm-hmm. towards afros and mm-hmm. um the african look mm-hmm. i decided well i can do everyone you know you're so interesting because you actually dressed accordingly your earrings are even an afro comb like and <laughs> anyway oh, i wanted yeah. to ask a question i'm sure someone at home is curious about because it also piqued my interest in mm-hmm. one of your art pieces here i can see a lady and i can see some very detailed and colorful makeup can you do this in real life just <laughs> ask it because these things are not easy uh, i get mm-hmm. that a lot yeah. my friends always ask me because i'm very when it comes to drawing yes. i love intricate designs mm-hmm. and if it's makeup i love I love the details. So can you do it on I my face? I cannot like, do it oh. on my face. Actually, I have trouble Bummer. drawing my eyebrows. <laughs> uh-huh. Mostly one will be higher uh-huh. or longer or thicker than the other oh. one. But when it's me, my brushes and with my canvas, mm-hmm. I I do it so well. Okay, okay. So I like the story and I like the fact that now the fans can understand the message behind the work that you guys are trying to do. So but today is the spirit of entrepreneurship. So I'd like to understand how you guys built a career out of this and how sustainable this is. What was the plan when you guys sat down and decided, okay, my tribe is at, we are going to do this. What was your plan? What was the strategy? Who can speak on that? Edwin. Okay. Well, uh, as I've mentioned earlier, mm-hmm. Uh, my tribe is art mm-hmm. is just a language mm-hmm. for the artist mm-hmm. we speak for the artist mm-hmm. we give artists a platform whereby they can at least showcase their talent mm-hmm. uh, we have a very wonderful lady mm-hmm. behind uh, all this project oh. her name is Rachel uh-huh. she's from Voi mm-hmm. she also lives in Norway mm-hmm. and uh, she has been overseeing all these projects mm-hmm. and uh, because of our support at least we can be able to do some things for the artists mm-hmm. some things that we will not be able to do mm-hmm. as uh, the youth population mm-hmm. yeah because uh, what are these things we are not able to do we would like to understand <laughs> well uh much of the things uh, require finances aha uh-huh. for instance to look for money you need to have money first mm-hmm. to put up that website up yes. there you mm-hmm. need money mm-hmm. so you need someone to support you before mm-hmm. you bring that website or rather that platform mm-hmm. so that the artists can sell their art mm-hmm. to organize an event it mm-hmm. needs money mm-hmm. to bring people together yes it requires money mm-hmm. so so what is this plan what is the strategy or does Rachel do everything and then you bring the art not really uh-huh. actually when planning an event mm-hmm. we try as much as possible to plan a, a zero budget uh, event oh you really try to minimize the cost yes because uh-huh. uh, in the platform we mm-hmm. have a lot of talent mm-hmm. we have event organizers we mm-hmm. have photographers mm-hmm. we have videographers mm-hmm. we have every sort of talent in the platform mm-hmm. many of which are not here mm-hmm. yeah so the people that would have been hired mm-hmm. to bring a people together to organize an event mm-hmm. that costs are channeled to something different oh. the photographers that mm-hmm. maybe the money will supposed to channel it to doing photography or videography mm-hmm. we use that money to do something else mm-hmm. so we are minimizing the cost mm-hmm. uh, another thing uh, alliance for say came through for us because uh-huh. uh, suppose you are to hire a venue it's also expensive mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. so we are just trying to use our talents mm-hmm to sell the talent the other talents that we have that mm-hmm. is art so you're actually doing a lot of lobbying with a lot of conversations and uh what is butter butter trade yes 
Ah. Okay, but make sure you use them. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, yeah. you look like you want to say something about um, this. Aside from only finances, mm -hmm. I think what he has talked about is also the yes. fact that th we have a lot of connections. What yes. she has brought Rachel Wally is Network. networking. Mm -hmm. And not only for, uh, it's giving a platform for upcoming pra uh, artists mm -hmm. and also the practicing artists and also those who are high up in the ladder uh -huh. to be able to connect up and down the ladder mm -hmm. so that um, the, the one who's above can mm -hmm. be able to mentor mm -hmm. the one who's below and and the one who's below is able to see ah. oh i can make something out of this because there's actually a very yes. common question about wh why uh, whether emerging artists should be allowed to showcase their work in a place where uh big or what can i say uh known um artists are showcasing mm -hmm. their work that's actually a big question in the world of art and i can see you've already answered it you're trying to bridge that gap when it comes to those who are who have made it and those who are just uh joining in the market so speaking of those who have made it before i go back to your mentor who are your biggest influences <coughs> sorry like in the art world jerry you've okay. been quiet let's start with you mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay, I have some mentors. Mm -hmm. um, when I started painting, mm -hmm. a very good known artist in the country mm -hmm. gave me materials to start with and oh. really inspired me. His name is Anthony Mwangi. Mm -hmm. And he really mentored me. Mm -hmm. I also have another one called Kinuthia. Mm -hmm. He has also exhibited in Kenya and beyond. Mm -hmm. He's actually international. Mm -hmm. And he has really helped me grow and also to expand and try other styles mm -hmm. and my parents have really supported me mm -hmm. when it comes to art mm -hmm. my dad used to draw when he was younger mm -hmm. and they've really supported me honestly art materials they cost pretty much yes yeah but they've supported me and really encouraged me you know and i told them i want to i want to do art and mm -hmm. it's going to be part of me they were really supportive of me and I'm so grateful to them. So they also inspire me. Okay. Yeah. At least now we know a, a couple of your influences. Edwin, who are your influences when you're doing when you're when you're handling your models, when you began your academy? Who who are your biggest influencers? Uh well, I can say uh, much of my, of the influence because I do much of uh, fashion mm -hmm. and uh, modeling. Mm -hmm. I can say uh, Victoria's Secrets. Oh, uh-huh. Victoria's Secrets. Victoria's Secrets. Uh, Selfa, why did you make that face? Are you shocked? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am. Uh -huh, Continue. Uh -huh. <laughs> At least, uh, uh, like mm -hmm. uh, other models like Adele Ball, mm -hmm. uh, we have great artists. Mm -hmm. uh, we have uh, great models. Mm -hmm. So, uh, apart from just uh, exporting the talent mm -hmm. to Europe, mm -hmm. we can also have a, a platform that can give our inborn or mm -hmm. other local born uh, uh, models mm -hmm. a platform to do their mm -hmm. thing here in Africa, not really to expose them to the international world. Uh, brain drain. Yes. No, this in this in this in this sense talent drain. Yeah. There's yeah. something that is going on on the screen before I uh, before I ask for her biggest influences. Whose work is this in specific? This is uh, one of our artists. Mm -hmm. His name is Mutahi. Mm -hmm. Yes. I can see Obama. Eh, Ob does Obama have this many wrinkles? We are memoir boy. And Yes. He'll reach there. He'll reach there. He'll, he'll get there. He'll get there. Because I, I think I've seen this on your website on my tribe is art. Yes, yes. So this is this is just a sample of artwork done yeah. by your various yeah. Yeah. artists. Okay, Selfa, so can you tell me who are some of your biggest influencers while well, the audience is taking a look at the catalog here? Okay, mm -hmm. um, I have been in the in the painting mm -hmm. art industry for mm -hmm. five years now. Mm -hmm. And my first teacher back in 2013, 2014 was Mrs. Mary Ogembo. Mm -hmm. um, she used to teach me um, uh, at Go Down mm -hmm. Art Center and she's a very well-renowned artist mm -hmm. she has been painting in abu dhabi uae oh, uh -huh. and just to find someone who is motherly mm -hmm. and just will give me the my first canvas my first paint my my first everything motherly in your career yes <laughs> completely uh -huh. and introduced me to my first exhibition mm -hmm. aside from her has been uh mr patrick mokabi mm -hmm. who has been featured in many places as cnn africa mm -hmm. and he has been emerging as um 
one of the painters who, who almost has mm -hmm. his style in mm -hmm. the dictionary, Mukabizim. Mm -hmm. And yes, Mukabizim. Yes. Uh, <laughs> well, you can, uh, his paintings are revolving women mm -hmm. and um, their beauty, their curves. Mm -hmm. And it's everywhere. It's in Java, it's in JKA. Mm -hmm. And what he has provided for me is the ability to just go into his um, studio and work with others. Mm -hmm. And so I, I got to learn from him mm -hmm. and even other artists, mm -hmm. so many artists. Mm -hmm. And down the road, it has been also music. Mm -hmm. I Oh, music. Yes. Oh, uh -huh. I'm a fanatic of jazz. Mm -hmm. uh, so when Diana Reeves came to Kenya, oh. I felt like mm -hmm. um, I have just met Beyonce. Mm -hmm. So I was <laughs> very, I was very excited. Mm -hmm. um, I also do music and I feel like art is so broad mm -hmm. and music is art and mm -hmm. people don't um it's art is divergent and convergent at the same time mm -hmm. it has a lot of spheres mm -hmm. yeah okay so let's talk about a bit of your work before we delve we go back into the yeah. serious things yeah um is there anything jerry let me yes. start in jerry because now you are the quite least least talkative in this particular scenario jerry was there some work that you did or a particular portrait that you did that you felt like i this one sucks. Or you did one and you felt like, bass, this is my best one so far. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. um, actually, um, when he did this, there was a painting mm -hmm. before this. Mm -hmm. And I actually was frustrated and had to <laughs> paint it off and start this <laughs> one. Yeah, so it mm -hmm. happens. Mm -hmm. At times, uh, you paint something and mm -hmm. it doesn't come out as you want. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it happens. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you paint something and you're so in love with it, you don't want to sell it. Mm -hmm. uh, that particularly happened when I was doing art talks for Marini Naturals. Mm -hmm. I was in love with Michelle Talami's painting mm -hmm. because it was inspired by the natural hair care line she has. Mm -hmm. And I was so in love with that painting. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to part with it, but mm -hmm. I had to. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it happened. How I'm much did you sell it for? Consider it was your best <laughs> oh um 25,000 wow uh-huh uh -huh. yes yes mm -hmm. okay 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 let me let me let me slide over to um no wait wait what happened to the one that you didn't like or oh, you said you repeated it yes it was <laughs> actually here oh yes i painted so th you actually brought one of your worst stroke no, transformed I, 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 yeah, image yeah yeah transformed <laughs> and then this one of my favorites okay yeah, that's but good Upon Danny, there's something else going on. Mm -hmm. like, well, Story. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there's, 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 there's some journey yeah, up in there. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Edwin, Edwin, let me find out from you. Was it was it a certain model that you interacted with? Was it an event that you consider the highlight of your career? Uh, well, mm -hmm. there's this event I organized. Mm -hmm. I found myself in a lot of trouble. Why? <laughs> mm -hmm. You know, when you do events, Mm -hmm. uh maybe the community around mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you might do a lot of uh, disturbance you cause a lot of disturbance to the society to the was community. it loud music Emma? what was the problem <laughs> well that was the time i decided uh, this time i'm going big <laughs> so i had the best uh, sound system mm -hmm. i had the best djs in mombasa mm -hmm. i had the best mcs mm -hmm. i said i'm doing it this time mm -hmm. so Unfortunately, at the restaurant we organized, mm -hmm. it was uh, surrounded by uh, residential uh, plots. Mm -hmm. So they complained to the police, mm -hmm. but lucky enough, I had the license to do the event. Oh. Mm -hmm. So uh, I was- License uh, to do events, very good, I like yes. that. Mm -hmm. So uh, the event organizer was mm -hmm. arrested. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yes. So even despite having the, oh goodness. Uh -huh. Yeah, we are in Kenya. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. I was arrested, mm -hmm. but uh, fortunate enough, we were almost uh, at the close of the event. Mm -hmm. So there was no much interference to the program. Mm -hmm. But as much as I was in the police cell, mm -hmm. deep down I was happy that I had achieved whatever I wanted. Oh, you had fulfilled. What yes. was the name of this event? You've <laughs> even featured some of because I can see some of your work uh, running on screen right now. It was called uh, The Red Affair. The Red Affair. Prevalent Dangerous. Fashion <laughs> show. <laughs> the kind of danger. Maybe yes. that was the reason. Yes. And what about your best? Was it? Is that a mixture of your best and worst? Well, I can say that's the turning point of my modeling career mm -hmm. because I, I, I was uh, known because of that. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, my friends talked about it. A lot oh, of people talked about that Blessing event. in disguise. Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh-huh. So it was the turn of events. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, I like that. Okay, Selfa, let's hear yours now. It's your turn. <laughs> uh-huh. What was the highlight of your career? Or is it something that you drew that it sucked? Or something that you did that you really loved? And how much did you sell it for in that event? Uh, mine was not uh, for selling. Mm-hmm. I actually didn't want to part with it. Oh, you uh, experienced the same <laughs> issue in Jerry here. So, um, mm-hmm. there is one uh, that was inspired uh, by Alicia Keys' song Superwoman. Ooh. And I painted African women um, mm-hmm. um, going to... Um, uh, kuchota maji mm-hmm. kutoka well going back home mm-hmm. uh, yeah. during the sunset mm-hmm. so um when that ha- uh, what happened is that uh, aside from art mm-hmm. I, I i used to do digital marketing mm-hmm. and one day we had uh, as a team from kenyatta university we mm-hmm. had won some uh, google online marketing mm-hmm. challenge that made us go to netherlands mm-hmm. so um from an email i mm-hmm. was requested to you can you can bring mm-hmm. you can bring your art pieces mm-hmm. and i brought it and now it's hanging on um, the google offices in california wow and just being sent Did that for you being sent that photo was <laughs> was the best thing that ever happened mm-hmm. to me and still is mm-hmm. uh the lowest moment mm-hmm. <sighs> I, I, I scrape off a lot of my uh, of the worst oh. pain. I just go like <laughs> you, you I, get I can't do them. I can't do it anymore. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> and so then you get like another canvas. <laughs> yes, yes, it okay. happens. Okay, yeah. I like that. Um, it's so good for for us to hear these stories because uh, people at home when they do things, things go wrong and things yeah. go right. It's good yeah, to sure. celebrate the wins and the fails and the and the fails that turned into wins. So, um, for someone at home who is who is interested in this line of work, do you have any any words for them as we conclude um jerry mm-hmm. oh yes mm-hmm. uh, first of all um a lot of a lot of times i get this question if mm-hmm. art can be sustainable yes. if it can sustain you in yes. terms of your pocket mm-hmm. and let me tell you yes it can mm-hmm. i was take uh, i'm taking fashion design um, and marketing and i'm clearing this semester mm-hmm. and i decided to switch to art wow mm-hmm. as much as fashion and jewelry still mm-hmm. inspiring me mm-hmm. i decided i'm doing art mm-hmm. and since i started in 2017 mm-hmm. i promise mm-hmm. it's been such a good journey uh-huh. in terms of money mm-hmm. and it's it's great especially if your work is quality mm-hmm. if you um try and observe mm-hmm. quality mm-hmm. if quality is one of your values um you'll always mm-hmm. get clients mm-hmm. and i'm so grateful to the clients i've had mm-hmm. i also do a lot of commission works mm-hmm. and yes mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. it helps a lot so your message is it's sustainable and you yes, can make some money is. so it they should be free it is yes. okay i like that jerry and where can they find you on social media real quick oh on instant on mm-hmm. instagram it's mm-hmm. jerry artista mm-hmm. on uh, facebook it's jerry kinuthia mm-hmm. yes all right edwin let's hear your parting shots uh, well, uh, to that young kid, mm-hmm. to that youth, mm-hmm. to that someone mm-hmm. who is struggling with something, mm-hmm. uh, whatever you are struggling with mm-hmm. is something that gives you contentment. Mm-hmm. Push on with that. Because mm-hmm. uh, I personally studied the industrial chemistry, mm-hmm. but uh, I've never been passionate mm-hmm. with the, the, this course I did, mm-hmm. like with what I'm doing, mm-hmm. uh, the fashion industry. Mm-hmm. And uh, something else, mm-hmm. <coughs> when you're down, mm-hmm. don't uh, don't feel shy to mm-hmm. ask for help. Mm-hmm. Personally, uh, I've been down very many times, mm-hmm. and uh, I'm very grateful to some of the friends I had. Mm-hmm. I remember one of my friends, uh, mm-hmm. his name is Clenses. Mm-hmm. I asked him, bro, I want to quit, what should I do? Oh, he gave so you actually reached thing. the point of quitting. Yeah, mm-hmm. you do. He told me, bro, it's either... In this uh, showbiz industry, you have mm-hmm. two options. Mm-hmm. Go big or go home. Go big or go home. Yeah. I like that. I like that. I like so that. I chose to go big. You chose to go big. Yes. So where can they find you on social media? Uh, we have uh, our social media handles, mm-hmm. <coughs> Lights and Shades Models, mm-hmm. across all platforms. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Twitter, Facebook, mm-hmm. and uh, Instagram. 
Okay, thank you. I like passion. Don't be afraid to ask for help. Go big or go home. That's what it's from. Edwin Selfa. Um, what I will say is, uh, for me, I have been in the painting industry for five years. Mm -hmm. It hasn't been. It hasn't been all milk and honey. Mm -hmm. um, some <laughs> hasn't been Kana. <laughs> <laughs> the, the two years. <laughs> the two years mm -hmm. where I was like, it's desperate. I have mm -hmm. over sixty paintings, mm -hmm. and none of them. When I go to exhibition, they just ah nice. Then How much is it? Buys. Nobody buys. That's that's what happens. Mm -hmm. And what I came to understand is mm -hmm. that the art industry. Mm -hmm. Um, do not confine yourself in a box. Mm -hmm. Like the the best thing my canvas can do for me mm -hmm. is sell for me, mm -hmm. give me money. Mm -hmm. Your painting can do so many things. Mm -hmm. It can give an art. It can give a statement. Mm -hmm. it can give a political statement. Mm -hmm. You can. It can give mm -hmm. economic statement. Mm -hmm. It might end up in a hand in the hands of someone mm -hmm. who might connect you to another person. Mm -hmm. So don't box yourself. You might be doing managing of art. You mm -hmm. might be directing art. Mm -hmm. You might be the creative in art. Yes, you might not be the so, artist yourself. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, enjoy the journey. I like that. Enjoy yes. the journey and and get out of the box. Yes. Yes. And where do they find you on social media? Oh, my social media platform mm -hmm. is Kari Artist. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that's for my paintings. Mm -hmm. And then Selfa Kari for my jazz and soul music. Oh, great. Eh, jazz and soul music. All right. All right. I think it's about time we conclude this segment. We have been talking to the entrepreneurs and uh, my tribe is at. My name is Hilda Wadidi. Please do not go anywhere. Barry, Barry Moses is coming up next to the next interview.